all right guys and welcome back to another video we can see we're in the proto h series once again uh, like i said in the previous videos i'm absolutely loving this series i've got a couple more videos in it we can see we're around maple valley for this one and straight from the start we make a bit of contact with Sinios there and uh, it sometimes happens in this series it's happened a few times where people sort of dart left to right a little bit and it sort of you know misguides me a little we can see he takes us out at the start which is somewhat fair but we do get a four second penalty which isn't fair at all um, that was a very harsh uh, but it's like I said it's happened a few times where I think this car is very sensitive to sort of steer like I was saying around Daytona you can it sometimes seems it's like uh, like it's lagging so yeah I think that's kind of what happens on the start I made a little bit of contact and he took us out but um, like I was uh, saying in the title well, I, I don't think I even started saying it but uh, I was accused of cheating. Uh, I'll put up on screen the pictures I took. I know it's a bit of a, a boomer move. I, I took pictures on my phone, but I don't think there's any way of me getting these screenshots uh, without taking a picture because I can't record um, on my Xbox with the sort of USB I've got. It only records in-game uh, as we overtake Sinios uh, there again. And um, yeah, I can't really record it on my Xbox. I don't know if I can download the app, the Xbox app, and get it off there, but... I thought it would just be easier just to take pictures on the phone. You can quite clearly see it. But I was accused of cheating. Um, I think it was because in this race I was really comfortable. Um, I was particularly fast. I think I was about a second faster than the rest of these guys. And like I was saying in the previous videos, I'm absolutely in love with this car. This car is just feels amazing to drive. I think it really suits me uh, to the T. The uh, solid rear end just works perfect for me. Um, you know this is just sort of the way i like to drive and like i was saying um in the previous videos as well the way i set up the car was with a lot of oversteer and it is helping in this car but i'm gonna change it once again uh, towards my own preference and i think that's probably the best way you should set up the car rather than putting a load of oversteer in it um i think it might be on there slightly a bit better as we've got Sinios to the left left of us here and i think i think he does try taking us out uh, once again uh, but I think setting up the car to oversteer doesn't if it's not your driving style it's not going to really work because you don't know the sort of limit to how much you should put in I feel like and it, you can sort of really you know affect the way you can drive and the comfortability and just with this car the, it's got a really solid rear end it's not that oversteer I've put a lot in and uh, I think it's helping because the front end is not that pointer so in uh, in real life or in my you know actual setting up the car to my preference i probably would put more oversteer into the car but i think it's the solid rear end which is making me really fast for some reason i can just hop into this car and be completely comfortable uh, straight away and uh, that's what we're seeing around here that's why i got accused of cheating um i got accused of using tunes and he was really annoyed that i was using tunes and the the guy's not even in first place as you can see it's regular i think his name is i think he's in second place so um yeah i was accused of using tunes as well saying it's not fair but to be honest with you i have no idea what i'm doing with the tunes if, you, if you're watching this i've been doing it for about a week which i told him in the messages and uh yeah like uh if you've watched the previous videos i've just been shoving it a load of overseering and i'm kind of figuring out now that's probably not the best thing to do um the best thing to do is just probably just set up to your preference I think it's more about adaptability, there's only so much you can do to the car, if the car's oversteering um, or it's got an oversteering tendency, you know, the setup's only going to do so much to combat that, you, you know, the car's still probably going to be very oversteering and uh, yeah, I, have, I don't have much, you know, knowledge on how to set up a car, especially in this game or the meta sort of stuff to do and um, yeah, I got accused of doing that and then I got accused of, you know, running cheats with my tyres. But you'll see in this race that we actually picked the same lap as him and he was really confused i think that's why he was you know a bit baffled because uh we picked the same lap next lap which uh i thought it was just going to be a medium to medium strategy uh, but it turns out these tires are going to wear quite quickly so i decided to put on the hard tires uh, i don't know why he decided to put on the mediums on lap five um you know if they can't even go halfway distance so yeah it kind of it kind of seemed to be a bit angry at me for for having the hard tires on and seeing like the tires didn't wear but i think we just had better pace on the hard tires we can see here we've got loads of pace over everyone i feel like going through these corners i feel like they're just 
uh, the best they can be. I think I didn't do much practice around here as well, like 15 to 20 minutes. I know it sounds a bit egotistical that oh, I'm driving these great lines, but it's never normally like this. It's only in this car where it feels perfect for me. It just really suits me, and um, yeah, we're just finding really like loads of pace. I can, you know, hop into the car, do a couple laps, and be on pace straight away, and that's just sort of what's happening around here. I'm just really, you know, taking the car to the maximum into every single corner and really being uh, comfortable in the car and knowing what to do. We can see we're onto the back of Ragnar here. This is the guy who accused us of cheating. We're both going to pit into the pit stops. And uh, I will admit, we did kind of cheat in the pit stops because I did do the pit stop glitch around here. We can see we come out in front of him just about and I think we do take the lead of the race because of this. I think re regulations, the guy in first decided to stay out and we can see we come all the way to lap 10 and the guy who decided to stay out regulations, I think because the tyre wear was so bad, uh, I think he probably made a few mistakes on that last lap and was pretty slow. He's not even in the top four now, but you can see Yolo Swagger done is the guy who's chasing us down for this win. Uh, he is the guy, I think he started on the hard tyres. Uh, he spun out a couple laps earlier before the pit stops, if you saw it on turn one. Uh, so I think he was on the hard hard tyre strategy, I will say. Um, and I think he's now on the soft tyres. So it's basically hard against, against softs. You can see he's not really closing down the gap. So I can see where the confusion might be a little bit with Ragnar, but uh, to be honest we are it is i think it's one in a million uh, with this car you know you're not going to get every car which is just comfortable to your preference I, I think this is like the first car i've driven in forza motorsport where you know it's just it just feels right and um that's what i'm saying with the setup work i've i've been doing loads of oversteer but if it's not your feel you can really go over too much with the oversteer and it's actually too slow um to actually put in and uh, yeah, I think you should. It's more about adaptability, I, I will say. Uh, you see it in real life. Yeah, I think Fernando Alonso, he's got more of a, an understeery uh, setup or preference. So does, uh, does Hamilton, I think, as well. Uh, but they've really got good adaptability, and that's what makes them fast. They can drive basically anything. Uh, any car you put them in, they can drive it pretty fast. And uh, even though they have that preference, you know, if a car. I'm trying to think of like the Ford Mustang, the GT500, that car, well it primarily understeers quite a bit as well and it oversteers a lot. You know, there's only so much, I'm kind of thinking of a car which primarily oversteers. Uh, I think just like a really, you know, a car with a lot of horsepower, um, which doesn't doesn't have much grip. Um, but a car like that which just primarily oversteers, you know, the set of work isn't going to change the oversteer, it can only change it so much and uh, you've got to adapt to that and uh, that's how you be fast i think is just uh, adapt to the cars you know the odd time you're going to get a car like this which just suits your your driving style uh, and you're going to be fast straight from the off but most of the time i think 90 percent of the time most of the cars are not going to be to your style and you've got to adapt to it and you could say yeah well put a load of oversteering cars and you know learn to drive like that but you know, there isn't really a guidance or a set guide of or limit to how much oversteer you should put in. And if you don't know how much you should put in, you can put in too much or too little. Um, so that's why I kind of feel like that, you know, you should always set up to your, your style. I, I think now I always change it every week to, to set up the car, but uh, I really feel like this is the best way to go. But we can see we've come all the way to lap 12 now. And we can see the gap to the guys behind is now starting to extend. I think Yolo Swaggerdon is on the soft, so his tyres will be wearing quite a bit on this last lap. And I think we do manage to make the gap over 10 seconds long. Uh, we can see Ragnar is just losing loads of time as well. And I think he's on the mediums, which will be having a lot of tyre wear. We can see the high tyres on the bottom right. These are worn a lot. So Ragnar's tyres must be completely gone at this point. So that must be where his confusion is. Um, so, yeah, if you if you are watching this, I'm not cheating, mate. Uh, I've got plenty of videos on here just showing my driving. I think this car just really suits me. Uh, I don't really know how to do setup work. So, yeah, that'll be it for this race. As we come through the final corner now, we can see the gap to YOLO. It's over 10 seconds now. We do have a 4.9 second penalty, but that won't matter at all. And we take a pretty emphatic win in the end there in the Cadillac to take... First position with a 1 minute 18.8.